This is a video of how to set up the Seek Outside TP. This is true for 6, 8, and 12 person TPs, although there are some differences. We will display using the setback method. First, site selection is very important. We want to choose a well drained site. In this one, although there were several sites around, we chose one that sloped off gently to the sides. How you pack and store your TP can help you expedite setup. We recommend the rolling method as it creates less wrinkles. Compressing the TP really isn't an issue, although you might get a little bit of have a little bit of an issue with the bendiness of the vents. We also recommend that you close the zippers when you store the TP. This means that you don't need to do make sure the zippers are closed when you start to set up the TP. Our stake loops are very robust. They're basically reinforced cordura patches on the inside and outside. They're large to accommodate snow stakes, military stakes, or materials you find on site. When using small or regular stakes, we actually recommend that you create a twist in the stake to ensure a tight fit. We recommend that you twist this loop here because this creates a little bit tighter fit around here. The reason that we make these stakes larger is to accommodate larger stakes such as military... Our vent, as mentioned earlier, has a slight bendy material to it. Just double check, make sure that it's properly formed. If you're camping in winter conditions, you can just bend this closed if you want to retain maximum heat. If not, just make sure that it's properly formed. If you, in most cases, it shouldn't be an issue. When I set the initial stake, I usually choose one zipper side, and then I stake both loops that are near the zipper together. This ensures a very balanced setup. I will later remove one of the loops once I've completed setting all the stakes. After that, I'll go and identify the other side of the zipper. Using the setback method, I'll take the measure, I'll pull it slightly taut, as demonstrated here, and then I'll measure the setback. For this tent, it's about 46 inches. I use the guy out points as a guide. The guy out points are 24 inches up. So basically, I take the stake loop and I flip it back over on itself to the guy out point. Then I go ahead and I set the stake in the middle of where the guy out point would be. This goes very quickly. What we want to do when using this method is essentially create a square initially. So now we should have two stakes set, and we'll move on to setting the side stakes. When setting the side stakes, once again we need to know the proper setback amount, but it's usually very minimal, five or six inches. I'll take the reinforced cordura patch and just basically flip it back over itself and mark it and set the stake. This was set up in moderately windy conditions and there was a storm coming in. Once we have these four stakes set up, we need to assemble the pole. The pole telescopes to save space in your pack, or the carbon fiber pole does. It connects together using flick locks. They go pretty quickly. They just snap into place. Once you set the tent up a couple times, you'll pretty much know where the pole is supposed to go initially, at what length. When you put the pole in the tent, you basically unzip one of the zippers, identify where the cone is. It's easiest to hold the cone in your hand and then stick the pole into that section, making sure it's seated pretty well. Then go ahead and close the zipper. Next, we'll want to set the rest of the stake loops. As mentioned, you really only need to set up the ones for most conditions that are on the scene. In this case, it's 10. 20 will provide optimal performance. In highly windy conditions, it will also mean less stake drift. I like to set up the ones by the door first, and then I continue around the tent. Once the tent's set up, you can use the guy out points to increase interior volume. This is optional. It does increase poor weather performance as well. Room right next to the edge of the tent. 